What's going on YouTube? Brandon Truga here. Thought I'd make a quick video. I'm doing the spark plugs in my Dodge Nitro 3.7 liter uh, to 2007. So I thought I'd just go through really fast the steps of what you need, what tools you need, and what you'll need to do the spark plugs. So this is, if you do it yourself, it's about like, I got the um, Platinum Autolite uh, spark plugs and some C's and it was like 20 bucks for everything so that's all you'll need unless you don't if you have all the tools that's all you need but if not you'll need also to go get a 16 millimeter socket for spark plugs and you will need a 10 millimeter socket and yeah, as you can see there's one of the screws that goes in the um you see like right back here it goes in the the spark plug so so you're gonna need I'll do a quick video on how to do one of them you do one of them you do that's basically the same for all of them so right here you have one two three there's three of them and your other three are over here so you have one two three and like I said it's the exact same thing to do all of them um, so I kind of tore one apart already have one torn apart so I took out the bolt that goes right there on this one so took it out and then there's a clip that you're gonna have to remove I'll show you how to remove it on this one so you push down towards the front like over here it's not the back a little bit higher up push down and pull so that's how it comes off so you're going to want to do that. What I also did first was, the first thing I did was take out the negative on the battery. And then, so again, then you'll just take socket, put that on here, show you really fast how to do that. So there's the bolt. So this is yeah. This is just. I mean, it's really basic, simple. Um, like I said, you just need very few tools to do this job. See, and then there's the bolt. So, anyways, you can see I'm just gonna skip that, or I guess I'll show you this last part right here, and it pops off just like that. So, like I said, this other one, it's pretty much already popped off and popped off and everything. So you just take it out, I'm going to set it right here, I'm going to clean it up before I put it back in, and then I will take my socket for the spark plugs, stick it down in there, and again you'll have to use a wrench, use your uh, socket for it, but I've already loosened it and everything, so then you'll just loosen it up, push down on it to make sure the little rubber stopper grabbed it you can see it's right there pop it out and then so what I'll do is essentially let's just say this is a new one I'm gonna put some anti C's on the side of it and then I will stick it back on my socket so let's pretend we're gonna just say this is a new one I'm gonna put a new one in there but just for an example, put it back in, make sure you line up the thread properly, and then you'll just tighten it down. Once it's tightened, you'll just pull this back out. Make sure it's tight, because you want to make sure it's fully down, but you don't want to over tighten it, so make it snug. It needs to be snug, and then you'll just tighten it back down. But before you do that, you are going to come over here, and everything you need to know about the spark plug um, gap is right in here what i mean by the gap if you don't know what that is here's a spark plug gapper so what i'm going to do is i'm going to check and see what this gap size is up there check the gap size and then i'm also if you can't find the gap size on your vehicle sorry phone's freaking out if you can't find the gap size on your vehicle what you can do is gap your take your gap that's on your existing 
uh, spark plug, see what the gap is, and then set your new spark plugs to the same gap. So it's pretty basic, let me just run through it really fast. Take off the battery. I guess what you could do after that is take off the battery, look at the gap up here, see what the gap size is, gap all your spark plugs, then you can see you take off the one bolt back here, then you'll unplug that, and then you'll pull it out. And then um, if everything's gapped and everything, you'll take out the spark plug, put the anti-seize on the new one, put the new one back in. This is really just uh, maybe at most like a half an hour job. It's really simple, quick, and easy. So uh, anybody can do it, and it can be done by your average, I guess average Joe, the way you could say. Um, but uh, this is Brandon Latruga. I hope you found this video helpful, and uh, check out my other videos on how to do tail lights, headlights, whatever you want to learn how to do on the nitro. And uh, hope this video was helpful. Thank you.